Hello and welcome to the 5.26 Plasma release. It has been released, announced and everything. Let's actually get to all of the features. Just as a quick recap, four months from now, we will have Plasma 5.27. And after 5.27, if everything goes well, there should be a new kind of Plasma that actually relies on QD6, which might be called Plasma 6. I've done a video actually going in depth into that yesterday. So check that out if you're interested. This is 5.26. It is mostly a version with bug fixes and refinements rather than big features. Uh, Plasma 5.25 was very big, so it's actually needed to have some bug fixes. But nonetheless, there are some new features, which I am going to forget about whilst doing the video. Just kidding. Firstly, we have a new wallpaper and I know that it sound particularly exciting. Of course, the wallpaper is this one, this is called Kai. It is from the last wallpaper context, contest. And although, yeah, it's not very exciting, you know, under the hood, actually behind the scenes, uh, actually managing to find new wallpapers for each plasma release is not so easy. And organizing those contests is not easy either. I organized uh, the second one, so I know. <laughs> So I'm actually really happy that we managed still to have one beautiful, I gotta say it, wallpaper for each Plasma 5 release. So that is not to be taken for granted. That's it. We do have a new major release for feature, sorry, for wallpapers. And that is we finally have adaptive wallpapers and under the hood they work the same way as the GNOME ones if I understood this correctly which means that it should be easy to actually port them from GNOME to Plasma if you're interested in that. What are adaptive wallpapers? Are They are wallpapers that change depending on your current um, theme, dark versus light. As an example this is a adaptive wallpaper and if we actually go into the colors and change our color into breeze dark you can see that it switches to the dark version of Kai which is also beautiful and not to be taken for granted this is dark Kai you might be asking why the light version of this wallpaper isn't the light version of Kai, but it's the old wallpaper. And that's actually due to the fact that this is still the testing version. And during testing, we preferred to keep the old wallpaper for the light version, not oil the new wallpaper yet. But you will get an adaptive um, wallpaper with um, Kai as the light version, obviously. Then we are leaf fun. I don't know if you know the game. If you don't know the game, check it out. Well, it's a game where you write things and it produces at the end a GIF. So it's the only GIF I have right now. So I'm using one of uh, these GIFs as a test bench. And you can see that it is a wallpaper and yet it is changing. I think, and it's changing. It's a nice feature that wasn't here before. But let's get back to Kai, thank you. Then there's talk about widgets. Where's my panel? Resize the widgets on the panel. This is something that could uh, be done in previous releases, uh, but only using the alt and right click combination that later, later on became meta and right click. Then it was removed, re removed because it was more of a bug than any, uh, anything. Uh, and now it's correctly implemented, which means that if you move the mouse to the corners of a widget, you can see that the mouse actually has the appropriate icon and just by drag and dropping, you can change the kickoff. And uh, you might be wondering why I'm not showing it. And that is because obviously I'm recording this while I record the, the video. Everything stops working. <laughs> I'm on a, and you can do that. It's called timer. So let's pick it up. It is a super simple widget. It is literally just a timer. With right click, you can set um, when you would like. By the way, artifacts that you see right now, multi-monitor. It has a couple of interesting options. 
Firstly, you can actually edit what uh, timers you would like to see in the context menu, but you can also choose the to act moment after the timer is completed. As an example, I can do this. And now this widget clock a bit here and very big. Then there are two new applications for Plasma Big Screen. If you don't know what Plasma Big Screen is, it's Plasma KD Plasma in your television and it's supposed to be used with a remote. Very interesting project, of course. I will show you the browser. Of course, you know, it's meant for a television, so it doesn't look like it's meant for desktop. You could then navigate the whole UI just using the arrows and um, enter, which of course is what you would expect uh, to have if you have a remote. interested in Plasma Big Screen in particular, I've done a video about that going more in depth and showing the various settings and the other new one as well, which is a video player. It's called uh, Plasma 5.26 Beta. So you can check that one out. I'm going to move over onto the last feature, which I, okay, which is day scholar, <laughs> night scholar, but for day. So what I mean by that, you might that KD Plasma has this functionality called night. What this does is that you filter out the blue light when it's night. So you can actually sleep better in theory. And in its configuration that you can ensure how much um, daylight should, um, blue light should be filtered just like this. The thing is that you can now filter light, uh, blue light on the day as well. And you can decide how much it done on the day and how much it should be done on the night. You still want some filter in the day and then I'm um, So that was actually everything. As I said, not too many features, but a lot of bug fixes and such. So said also in the smaller features, which obviously I didn't go through, you can check out uh, the official announcement on kd.org. And same goes if you're interested in all of the bug fixes. But uh, if you actually go through the list of all bug fixes, it's hundreds of things that would be weird. I gotta say thanks a lot to the people there that actually allow you to do this kind of videos and other projects as well. As an example, I'm currently, you know, contributing to KD Plasma with uh, some patches and bug fixes. And also I have a podcast called Linux Daily, 